Okay, hi. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to extend the extent of your kernel density outputs so that you don't get a wonky box like this. Now, in this video, you're going to see many things that are substandard practices, um, not best practices, um, considering things like this data set is in a geographic coordinate system. I am displaying it in a projection that is not really appropriate for way over here on the East Coast. I am using an equal uh, distance kind of coordinate system, but that should be dialed in so that you're dealing with the appropriate best fit for this area. Um, but this is what we're trying to avoid, right? Having your kernel density just end at the extent of your data. And a lot of tools just use the processing extent um, that's set by the maximum extent of your data. But you can change that using the environment settings. So for this example, let's use kernel density and put in our points. Here's bad habit number two using um, layer names like export output two. Terrible habit, don't do that. Um, putting things in the default geo database, not a big fan of that. Uh, leaving output cell sizes, not addressing that. <laughs> but here's what we want to do is go into these environment settings and the processing extent. And um, you can be very deliberate about this or what I would do in this case is just bump it um, just kind of eyeballing it. So um, right now, if we say the same as the layer export output to, which is our points that are defined here, um, this is in a geographic coordinate system, so the units here are degrees. This is the north, south, east, west extent of this data set. Let's just bump it up by two degrees. We could make this one 44. This is almost 33, so we'll drop it down to 31 degrees. Um, the left one, it's almost 79. Whoops, we'll go to minus 81. And then this one we can drop back a couple. So let's say negative, it's almost 71. So let's say negative 69. Um, that should take care of it. Let's run it really quick and make sure. You know, ideally you're dealing with the stuff more deliberately, but just to demonstrate this. So now you can see our processing extent has extended from the extent of the data, and now we've created this little buffer that creates that pad. Um, any questions, let me know. Thanks.